It's no longer against state law to have medical marijuana on college and university campuses. The Arizona Court of Appeals made that ruling earlier this month. But as Trevor Fay reports, the ruling is in a complete victory for users. Maricopa County Attorney Bill Montgomery gave his analysis of the case that made it illegal for the state legislature to criminalize possession of medical marijuana on college campuses. So to the extent that the defendant in the case was a qualified medical marijuana patient under the Medical Marijuana Act, the provision in question that penalized for criminal purposes the possession of marijuana on a college campus uh, exceeded the authority of the Medical Marijuana Act. But that doesn't mean students can freely possess it on campus. The court went on to say the state and other landowners can still regulate what's brought onto their property. The only thing that was curious about the argument made by the state is that it doesn't appear to have included an argument that Arizona's Medical Marijuana Act is preempted by the Federal Controlled Substances Act. And that's something that a state court needs to address squarely. Elaine Burns is the medical director of Southwest Medical Marijuana Evaluation Center in Scottsdale. She specializes in the therapeutic benefits of cannabis and spoke out about how the Arizona Appellate Court's ruling only solved part of the problem for medical marijuana patients. There's still definitely a discrimination and a prejudice against the student living on campus who has a bona fide medical condition that cannabis therapeutically would help them with. Burns says patients don't get to come into her office until they've been screened and qualified for use of medical marijuana. Once a patient has been confirmed, Burns says she gives them a physical as the last step before granting the patient their medical card. The Arizona Board of Regents sent Cronkite News a statement saying Arizona State University, Northern Arizona University, and the University of Arizona have all indicated they will continue to enforce the laws set forth under the Drug-Free Workplace Act, Drug-Free Schools and Communities Act, and Controlled Substances Act. In Phoenix, Trevor Fay, Cronkite News.